Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. I'm Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Capricorn. Looks like an X is on the return. I just dropped a card. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Communication's coming in. An X is about to return. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below, there's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos, there's also a link to my website if you want to book private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to me by clicking that below, that's the only legit way you're going to get a reading from me. Any other way, it's not going to be me, it's going to be somebody faking it. Right. Capricorn X making a return. Nope, no, one more shuffle. Yep, an X. You know why it ended? I literally have put one card out and it's telling me everything I need to know right now. You know why it ended? You remember that? That hasn't gone away. You kind of, you, you managed to free yourself. You got out. Make some space here. I need my cup of tea. Ah, cheers. All right, Capricorn. So the overall vibe. Ten of Cups in reverse, and the cause of it, the cause of the end of this relationship was it wasn't working. You guys weren't in balance anymore. You weren't you weren't happy anymore. Tell me, tell me why. I want to know. Let's get specific. You weren't communicating in the same way. It's it, that's sort of like uh, all those kind of represent a breakup, really. Especially this person was sort of this <laughs> fear in the reading. <laughs> I get hiccupy. It was fear. This person was uh, very emotional, very uh, unkind in their emotional outbursts. This is what you need to know right now. You freed yourself, you walked away, you got out of this. Right? So why is this ex making a return? Trying to, what's that song? That's the song my ex Matty used to play to me. I've been watching you. So we've been watching you. It just came into my head. I couldn't think of the words for a second there. Da, 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 da. I've been watching you. They've been watching. They're they're uh, they've got a window to your life somehow, and they're looking through that window. So it could be social media. Um. And they see that you're happy and that distresses them that that you're happy. They uh they, they're struggling to move on from you. Uh this kind of came out sideways. I'm in I'm I'm on a roll, hold on. Uh it's like they're struggling to let go of you because they they just have this window to your life. Is it like Facebook or something? Or Instagram where they can see what you're doing. And it's bothering them. They can't let you go. You're and you're now officially that one that got away. Why is 
that in my head? What's that song about? Uh, Raspberry Beret, obviously. But uh, what's the rest of it? He's telling a, a sort of nostalgic song about some girl he used to, you know. Was this your first? They've got a window to your life, they can't let you go. They feel stuck in their life. And uh, they, they feel stuck without you and they want you back. Bill likes you worse. She had the nerve to ask me if I meant to do any harm. Is that part of the song? Cast days will turn me on. I'm, I'm, I'm totally singing the wrong words. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. They feel like you're the one who they were supposed to be with. They, they, they feel like they messed up and they want you back. They, they want to do that whole family thing with you. Um, they are sorry. I bet they didn't appreciate you enough. That's all I'm getting. I think that they just have this window to your life and you all look like you're having a whole lot more fun than they are having and they they feel like they missed that. So they're coming back. This is what you need to be aware of in the near future. Queen of Wands, not so bad. This, you know, she's alright. I feel like it's kind of saying, yeah, I need to be switching that intuition on, baby. This person kind of, they're obsessing about the situation. And I, I, I think it's very unwise to let them come back in because they're obsessing about it. And I sort of feel like once they got what they wanted, uh, they would sort of, it would clear their mind. I was watching a Joe Rogan interview yesterday and he, it, in the interview, it said that when guys have their climax, there's a short window for about a minute where they think realistically, like they can actually think clearly about what they want. And it's usually, you know, after they've done the deed. So they want what they want. They're so completely in love with you until they've got what they want. They've done it. And then they're like, they can think clearly. And they're like, why am I with this person? And I sort of feel like that moment of clarity would come once they got what they wanted and uh, they would be like oh my god I've made a terrible mistake ah uh, we we ended this didn't we Jesus what are we doing it's it's like clarity all of a sudden Jesus what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing But they're obsessing about it right now. They want back in. They see that your life's great and they're having a terrible time and you're having this awesome time and there's a moment of clarity happens. I, I, no, God, no, I don't want to rebuild what we had at all. Not at all. It was, oh, Jesus, what have I done? Don't, don't let them back in. They'll get what they want and be like, ah! What have I done? You're not going to let them back in anyway. Because you're like, you're on a roll here, baby. You're good. Yeah, you know where they messed up before. You see, you remember where they messed up before. None of that. they're putting too much energy into getting you back and uh 
they would get you back and feel stupid for pushing so hard because they don't really want you and then they wouldn't really know what to do about it and I kind of feel like they would mess around and I think that the so second time around this would end even more badly than it did before because I think that they would I don't think they were cheating before but I think they would this time so let's yeah taking a look at you taking a look at them they're they're faking moves this person faking moves they don't really actually want you they think they actually they're afraid <laughs> they think they want you they're afraid of being on their own they really genuinely believe they want you until they get what they want and then they'll be like a moment of clarity for about a minute what have i done so let's take a look this is the outcome there's justice here for the outcome for you I'm going to take this into the extended after this where I'm going to ask how they really feel about you. Where are you in their heart space? I'm sort of seeing that it's it's obsession and infatuation. It's not real. It's not real. It's, no, 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 no. The outcome is justice is that I, I kind of feel you're going to be like, no, you can't have me back. It ended for a reason. Get out of here. Time to go and knock one out and then come back and have a conversation with you very quickly. Go off to the bathroom, knock one out, then come back and let's have a conversation. See if you really want this, because I don't think you do. You're not thinking straight right now. You're going to get what you need and it's not them. It's definitely not them. Time to give rather than take. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's definitely not time to take from this person. It's time to give them a piece of your damn mind and go, look, mate, you know why I ended in the first place? It's not gonna happen again. Don't let your past hold you back. For sure. Let's pull you your love lyric. I'll pick the cards up. Wow, my love, you got it. That actually came out for the last reading, for the Virgo reading. Yeah, I've got 60 something cards in here. Baby, it's you by the Beatles. Many, many, many nights go by. I sit alone at home and cry over you. What can I do? Can't help myself. Baby, it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find a link there. Bye.